played, we had uh, a good kind of open ceremony. We heard Tom Lennox speak and uh, Lance Armstrong speak right before we left. Uh, got a good breakfast in us and uh, took off from there. It's really a great day to ride. It's a little bit cloudy, it's cool. Um, everybody is incredibly friendly. The uh, volunteers have been great. They all seem to be well educated. They're very helpful. This is organized extremely well. I, I couldn't imagine it being organized any better. Well, the first 50 miles seemed a lot like five miles. It went quick, everybody's cheerful, beautiful country, and uh, no rain, so it was awesome. To me, Pelotonia is the right to raise money to fight cancer and stop cancer. Survivors! Cervical cancer survivor. Long time. Doing great. Healed by the James. <laughs> Bladder cancer 12 years ago, uterine cancer 15 years ago. I lost my mom to cancer uh, a couple years ago and she was treated with TLC at the James Cancer Hospital so I, I uh, owe everything to the folks there. They're amazing people there. They can't imagine doing what they do and they're, uh, they're just incredible. The Pelotonia is a collaboration among all bike riders to raise money for cancer research. Uh, lost two of my friends in 2000, uh, uh, Gardner Beaver and Joan Bassesi both died of cancer um, as they were having newborns and uh, this race has inspired me to continue to ride and, and fight and live in their memory. Nice, wind assisted, quite flat, um, I enjoyed it very much so and I'm looking forward to the next 50. My mom's best friend passed away from it a couple years ago and then I've lost two grandparents to it but I had two of my very best friends that I went to high school and college with their brothers. One was my year, one was two years older. Both had lymphoma but they both are in remission now so that's a good happy story and they were probably my main motivation to ride this just because they just beat that about a year ago. My, my, uh, almost all my grandparents have had cancer. My grandpa died of cancer. Uh, my grandma's a breast cancer survivor. My, my wife's grandma's a breast cancer survivor. Her grandpa um, died of prostate cancer. So uh, we have it in our family. Unfortunately, I just lost a cousin uh, 24 hours ago to uh, malignant melanoma. So it's, you know, near and dear to me. And, and uh, important cause and very important to ride for this and raise money for it. The Pelotonia is a wonderful bike ride for cyclists and it's also a great cause to help cure cancer. extraordinary event of, uh, of cancer survivors, researchers, and faculty and people from the community getting together and, and, uh, and contributing to an incredible cause. And the food is excellent. Absolutely excellent. Volunteering for this ride has been just awesome.
probably one of the best, best experiences I've ever had. I guess I worry, you know, that somebody very close to me will someday, and so I train because I believe it's important to be strong to deal with the things in your life, to be strong to support others. It's been a great sense of community. It's amazing to see everybody get out on the road and kind of ride for an important cause. Riding for my best friend Daniel Tyler, who was the volunteer at the 25 mile marker. He has liver cancer and uh, he couldn't go this morning because he was feeling a little too ill. And my mom and my cousin Barbie and my cousin Patty and my grandmother and uh, my good dear friend Elaine and Mary Lynn's father and uh, Alice's, you know, yeah. The list goes on and on. Yeah. Well, my mom just had a tumor removed from her leg. My, my, one of my best friends just died three, uh, two, two months ago from, uh, from uh, pancreatic cancer. So uh, that kind of tipped the scales. We really wanted to be involved in this. And my wife's still alive. She's a six year survivor of ovarian cancer. Uh, my wife's uh, my wife's mother died about nine years ago of uh, breast cancer, so pretty much this ride is dedicated to her. Well, Tonya is the best example of community coming together for a marvelous cause. We're leading the charge against cancer. This ride is phenomenal. I cannot believe how well organized it is. Uh, the community has been so behind the cause. Fundraising was a breeze. So any of you who want to do it in the future, sign on. It's not going to be hard. My dad had cancer for about 12 years. On and off. And I lost him about six years ago. So I'm ready for him. Cancer, the first thing you feel is hopeless. So, this is about hope. We're getting closer. James definitely represents that for our, our city, right in our own backyard.